So let's say you had a quiz in Angel um, where you had um, quiz one, quiz two, quiz three. And then you said, I want my midterm to be a combination of questions from quiz one, quiz two, and quiz three. So in Angel, you went ahead and copied those questions uh, individually from those quizzes. Well, what happens when um, it gets moved over to desire to learn? And, and then, then the other thing you did is you randomized those based on the different question sets. When it comes across desire to learn, you're going to get a weird thing that says language cache disabled. And then you're going to go to click on Add and Edit Questions. And when you go into that, you say, oh, well, there's my Excel. And you click on that, and there's no questions to which to pull randomly. So in this situation, this is where you essentially have to start uh, fresh. Now, are the questions uh, gone? No, the questions are not gone. The questions all came across in something called the question library. So if I go back to quizzes and I go to the library, you're going to see that here's uh, chapter 7 assessments and here's the questions from chapter 7. So essentially I have to kind of recreate this because there's, it's, it's going to take more time trying to go through and fix what is here um, than it is to just create a new one. So let me give you the process of creating a new one here. So let me show you how that works. So let me go back to quizzes. I'm going to create a new quiz. And I'll call it Excel Assessment, if you want. And then I'm going to go to Add and Edit Questions. And so here comes the tricky part, in a sense. What I want to do is, let's, so let's say I want to have questions from one part of Excel and another part of Excel or another part. So you get the idea. I want to have questions from the various quiz questions that I have. So what I'm going to do is create a random section and I'll call it uh, Excel part one. And I'll just leave all of that alone. Uh, I don't want to show the section name, display image. I don't think I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and create another random section and I'll call it Excel part 2 and I'll go ahead and save it. So the random section names are for me only. I mean I can go on to here and I can edit that if I want but they're only for me uh, only. So now what I'm going to do is go into the Excel part 1 and you'll notice when you go in there there's no way just to create questions. You have to import questions from the question library. So I go to import and it's going to ask you where do you want to import from. So now you can see um, all of the, quest, the questions you know that you have. So here's Excel and there's no questions from Excel. So let's go let's say let's go chapter 6 questions and here they are and let's assume these are Excel ones and I can then choose which ones I want. You can actually click right here to click, get a preview of that question so you can have an idea of what that question is. There it is. I can choose all of the questions if I want. But I'm going to choose, you know, yeah, I'll choose all of the questions. Then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, when I click Save, the questions are now in here. Now you get to see where it says this is a random section. So I want to say, give me 10 of these questions, and each one is going to be worth let's just say two points and then I go ahead and click save that's important All right, hold on a sec Dog. so that's the first random set then I go ahead and done editing questions and you'll get to see ah so there's 23 questions in that set it's picking 10 of them I then have to go to my second random section. Again, I go to add and edit questions, my fault there. I should have stayed there. It's really me. I go to into here. I go to import. Again, I look for the set. Let's say it's under under here. Uh, let's go to seven. Uh, let's find some more questions here. 
There we go. So let's assume these. Again, I choose all of them if I want. I click Save. Give me, you know, five of six of these questions. And I click Save. I go back and go back up here, and this then lets me see. I have two random sections. I can see a different piece of information, how many points they are. When I'm done editing questions, it takes me back into the quiz area. And now I can have 16 questions. I can then, of course, set the number of questions per page. Maybe I want five per page. But if I wanted to have them set, you know, based on each set, well, one on a page doesn't make any sense. So maybe I just get rid of that one. So I'll have three pages here, a few, five questions for the first one, ten, you know, five for the next one, and there'll be six questions on the next random set. Um, if I wanted to get a preview uh, of, of the quiz, again, remember that I can go ahead and I'll save and close on the quiz. So you can see it's much easier once you understand the process of creating these quizzes. And there it is. And if I go to preview this, again, remember this is from the student perspective. Uh, again, much easier for you to go ahead and um, recreate this. And you can see there's page one, page two, and there's page three. And of course, student can go to any question that they want to get to that specific question and fill in the information. Um, again, much easier for you to recreate than to try to figure out what do I need to do and all and get rid of them and, and, then, and then have to spend more time figuring out what I need to do. Uh, what I would do then is go ahead and delete uh, the quiz. I'm sorry, you have to go up here, the more actions, and you go down to delete. To delete a quiz, you click on the Excel and you click Delete Selected. So that's um, how you go about fixing that specific problem.